Um, the first and most obvious thing is that you have to be capable of doing the job and doing it well. Uh, you also need to be uh, capable of thinking outside the box. But an equally important thing is that you have to be able to work within the culture. We've had numerous candidates who have been in the really, really smart and really, really arrogant side, who were clearly people we didn't want to spend a lot of time with because they were just too hard to deal with. Uh, and I would say, looking at the way Larry selects, Larry selects for everything I just described, including this culture fit. And he's also looking for people who can think very creatively. I think all those things probably we look at are, um, you know, is communication skills, you know, even for engineers, uh, which is not always a, a trait people check for. Um, we like to have some cultural diversity, even in engineering. Um, and so we, we do go out of our way to recruit people who are a little bit different. Um, I think uh, the airport test is pretty important, which is that, you know, just think about whether if you got stuck in an airport with this person on a long layover on a business trip, would you be happy or sad about it? <laughs> um, uh, it turns out that, as best I can tell, the reason that Larry and Sergey hired Wayne, my, my compatriot from Sun, was that he happens to be a world-class astrophysicist. The fact that he might be a good VP of engineering <laughs> may or may not have been important. But sometimes it people... Was, it was. Oh, it was? Yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> it was not clear to me at the time. <laughs> what was interesting was that um, hiring people who are exceptional at something is usually a pretty good predictor of their being exceptional at everything. Um, I don't know about you all's view, but my experience is people who are great at sports or great at speaking or great at lobbying or great at advocacy are pretty high performing people. And those are the kind of people who have broader interests and have a bigger impact and you tend to select for them. And that should apply. And I think Larry's point is that applies even to the people who sit in their cube and don't come out except on Sundays. <laughs>